Okie dokes, let's crack into it. This is a Lightroom workflow tutorial for a landscape photo. Now what we do is we come to the uh, develop module and we, this is slightly counterintuitive, but we, we start from the bottom and we work to the top. So we're gonna come down to camera calibration. Now right now as a default, this is set at Adobe standard. So what I do is I put into uh, camera landscape. There you go, it just gives it a bit of punch straight away. And we work up now to, to uh, lens correction. So we want to remove the chromatic aberration and also enable the profile corrections. Now what that's, I'll just take that off. You'll notice the screen, the uh, horizon is slightly bowed. That's because it's shot with a um, quite a wide uh, lens, a 25 mil. And that's always gonna induce some bowing. So we need to get rid of that. So enabling prof profile corrections actually just gets rid of that. Now this horizon is not straight, which is a cardinal sin in landscape photography. So we need to fix that. We're gonna to go to uh, the crop tool. Okay, and we're just going to uh, hit auto. There you go. And 99% uh, of the time, that'll do it perfectly. That horizon is now perfectly straight. That's our basic housekeeping done. Now we can uh, focus on the creative side of it. So what I do is, um, is I come up to the develop module again and I'm gonna pull the highlight slider to the left and the shadow slider right up to the right. Now that's a bit blown out, it looks pretty terrible. So we're gonna fix that by adjusting the whites and the blacks. Now hold down your, your option or alt key and just slide that, um, that white slider to the right just as you're seeing little specks of light come through, that's about right. And the same thing with the black slider, except we're gonna slide it to the left. Okay, just until little black flecks come through. That's done, that's perfect. So the whites and blacks are now perfect. That is actually quite a well-balanced shot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess around with the uh, the presence, starting off with the, the clarity. Now that is too much clarity that is not enough. So we're gonna reset that. Now the way to uh, to reset sliders in Lightroom is all you do is just double click on the word. That resets it. So we're just gonna crank that slight, uh, that uh, clarity filter slightly to the right. Now this is just a taste, it's personal preference. I like it just about there. Vibrance, probably about there. And uh, saturation, oh, right about there I reckon. Beautiful. Now, uh, I'm gonna adjust the tone curve. Lightroom have a couple of presets straight away. They've got uh, medium contrast and strong contrast. I like to add a bit of medium and that just, just does that. Gives it a little bit more punch. Now we're gonna sharpen it slightly. Now the deal with, with sharpening is you, you don't wanna to get too carried away with this because the more sharpening you use in your shot, the more pixelated and horrible it's gonna become. So. What I'm gonna do is grab this little thing over here and we're gonna take it to a focal point which is uh, in this shot is probably right about there. And I'm gonna just uh, crank up the sharpening to less than 50%. Now you'll notice that's a little bit noisy. You can see a bit of noise in there. So we're gonna get rid of that by coming down to noise reduction and just cranking that luminance filter up and that'll just smooth out those, um, those pixelated edges, less than 50%. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we're gonna come down to Vignette, which is under effects. Now, as a default, it's in highlight priority. So if we do that, it just draws you into the image. There's a couple of other options here too. There's also color priority, which gives it a slightly different sort of look. And also paint overlay. I quite like this one. So we're just gonna crank a little bit of that into it. Okay, now I'm happy with that. That is done. Now I'm just gonna fix this sky up. Now, the deal here is I don't shoot with filters. As soon as you stick um, a filter in front of your lens, you're gonna lose image quality. It doesn't matter if it's a $400 leaf filter or, or a Nissi system. As soon as you start to, lose, uh, to use filters, you're gonna lose sharpness for a start. Fortunately, uh, Lightroom has a fantastic tool and it's called the graduated filter. So what we do is we um, get the grad filter and we drag it down to the top of the horizon. 
like that. And we're going to adjust this region here. Uh, so what I normally do is I normally decrease the exposure just to make it a little bit darker and I might increase the clarity as well. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now we've just come to the uh, to the global adjustment here as well. I think this image is probably just a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to bring the exposure down. And there we go. That's it. Enjoy.